Hi everyone, your Power Al here with some more of Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Last episode, we cleared the Dark Palace and we rescued Gully, who is now one of the Seven Sages. This episode, we're gonna get straight into things. We're gonna make a beeline straight towards the next dungeon, which is the Swamp Palace. I've been worried about how Princess Zelda is doing. Let's get flying. Yep, so we're gonna need to do one more thing in order to open up the way to the next dungeon. And it involves this uh, big rock that I did not blow up just yet. So, yeah, you're also going to want to have your hookshot equipped. Hookshot. And, uh, you know, just leave me alone. I don't care about any of you. But yeah, the next dungeon is, uh, it's definitely going to be hookshot focused. So, be wary of that. Anyways, big bomb flower. And I should be fine. I just need to avoid enemies. Just like that. Um, leave me alone, sir. And I'm almost to the rock. Okay, just want to make sure no enemies interrupt me. Thank you. Oop. Like you, you can leave me alone. And now, let me blow you up. So that drains all the water here, which we will need to do, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, anyways, hook shot time. And there we go. Onwards to this place. So in here, this is the Swamp Palace. Like I said before, it is hookshot focused. What? Oh, okay. Just pull you. And it's also going to be, this is basically the game's obligatory uh, water dungeon. How do I, uh, how do I get those? Oh, whatever. And... Oh. Music is really good in this dungeon. Holy crap, I didn't remember how good it was. So, you... Oh, hello. Oh, probably gonna need to... Yeah. Use uh, the hookshot to get you out of your shell. Oh, hello. I keep on, like, instinctively, like, using my uh, tornado rod. And then there's this thing here, this little mechanism. So let me just, uh... oh, there's the boss room right there and big treasure chest right there. So I'm going to start by going this way. Hmm. I'm, I'm just going to go over here. Oh, I'm gonna need to raise the water level. Okay, I see you. Can I, like, blow that up? I wonder. Maybe I can just go around this way? I'm definitely, uh, feeling lost in this dungeon. I want that treasure chest. There's a key right here as well. Oh, hello. Grab you. Compass. Okay, perfect. So now, uh, get rid of you. And let's keep on spawning. Fine, let me uh, get to a safe spot. Okay, are you uh, gone? Anyways, let's take a look at this dungeon. So, there's only two floors, which, I mean, that might not seem like much, but... This dungeon does uh, have a lot of rooms in each floor. So this is basement floor one. And quite a few treasure chests there. The first floor, while not as big, the rooms do feel bigger. But, um, hmm. Yeah, just, you have you have your map. So now just uh, keep track of where things are and you shouldn't. Ha oh! Oh, I see. And things shouldn't be too bad. Oh, you split up into, uh, tiny boys. 
Uh, will this work? There we go. Ah, stops the current. So I can grab you. Easy peasy. And, um, leave me alone. Oh, we also, since we do have our super awesome spin attack, we should also make use of that as well. Let me go up here. Uh, what do? Guess I'll just go back here. Can't really do anything with those doors. So I'm back here. Well, I, I, I have the one key, so... I guess I could open that one door? Because I can't... I mean, I guess I could explore more of this room? Oh, oops. Did not mean to drop down there. Yeah, there's... Uh, quite a lot here. Oh! Uh, hello. And, uh, die. Oh, I can lift this up! That, uh... Didn't really... Pan out how I wanted it to. Uh... There we go! That worked! Back to the hook shot. Ooh, gold root! I'll take that. I'll take any money I can get. And then... Uh... Can I just... Do that? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's two keys. Will this work? No. Okay, back here. These bubbles are annoying. Those aren't bubbles, because there's an actual Zelda enemy named Bubbles, and they're just flaming skulls. Okay, just want to make sure I got my bearings straight. I went through there already. So I guess the only way to go through now is the locked door up here. And now... Water current. Eh! Will this work? It will! So I can just attack them from a distance with that. That stops the current and switches it that way. Interesting. Uh, hello? And goodbye. Okay, follow the current. Attack you. Get the money. Ah. There we go, I see. And I can just ride the current? Just like that? Oh, that's cool. That's, that looks like fun, but also kind of, uh, perilous. And then, I guess I just have to hit this thing. So, drop down. Yeah, and that fills that up so I can go that way. Neat. Okay, now... Here... For what? uh, yeah, for a water dungeon, this doesn't seem like too difficult or anything. Seems pretty manageable, because there is the one water dungeon in a certain game that is, uh... Uh, has no notoriety for being... Not difficult, but I'd say more tedious than anything. But that's not this game. Anyways, we have a giant boy. There we go. Oh, and we also have sword beams. That's right. Oh, hello. Whew. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Oh, that's so satisfying. That's it. Neat. Okay, that opens. And that is open. Why Why did this raise up? Is this going to fill up with water? I mean, probably. Ah, uh, a shortcut. Uh, blow up, please. Um, I'm not going to drop down just yet, because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. 
Oh, 36.96. That's divisible by... Uh, that's no longer divisible by 3. I have this weird obsession with numbers that are divisible by 3. Don't ask why. It's something I do, especially like when looking at license plates when I'm driving. Just a weird habit. Anyways, drop down here. Ah. I can open you up. Oh, I see. No? Then uh, what do I do? Oh, you're dead. Um. Come on. Die. And get rid of you. So what, do I just... Yep, that's how. Ah. Lower the water level. And then lower it again. No? Oh. Okay. Can I at least... Yeah, I can get the money there. At the very least. Oh, and what's this treasure chest? This is the blue mail. So this is the upgrade for this dungeon. This will cut your damage in half. And it will permanently put Link in a blue tunic. So, uh, neat... Definitely something you want to keep an eye out for because this is such a useful item. How do I get out? Oh. Okay then. So, uh, yeah. Definitely want to keep an eye out for this particular item. Uh, I guess I'll just go down this way. Okay, I'm locked in. Oh, I see what I have to do. Pull you. Wrong one! And then I just uh, do this again. Right one. Yes. Uh, leave me alone. And let me go up here. Because there's probably something for me to grab. Oh, this. So I'm going to need to probably raise the water level. Let me just... Uh, I wanted to merge into the wall, Link. Come on, don't be difficult with me. Or, you know what? Before I do that, let me uh, investigate. Okay, that opens that up. And... Yeah, I just need to... Go over here and merge into the wall. That's got to be painful, just slamming into the wall like that, but... Oh well. Okay, so this is going to bring the water up, right? Yes. Is that enough to get that treasure chest? I don't think it is. But I can, I can raise the water level up higher, because there's three different water levels. And there we go. Another small key? I'll take it. Now, can, if I dive, can I, like, just... No, I can't. I tried. I tried, at the very least. Okay. Oop. Nope. That's not the item I wanted to use. I want to use... You. Okay. Lower the water level again. And now... I can just go this way? And I can grab the treasure chest that's here now, right? Yes. Another small key. Perfect. And then there's the item over. Leave me alone. I wonder. I'm here. Will this work? Nope. Will this work? It will work! I'll take that. I'm not going to fight the boss just yet, but I'll take it because I want some goodies. There's a treasure chest over here that I want. I feel a sneeze coming up. Like, mm, try not to sneeze in the middle of recording. Oh, I never fell down this hole. So let's do that. And I, I guess, open this door up. 
then oh nope 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 i wanted to go let's raise the water level up so i can go to the southeast florida that's in the southeast i haven't been to florida in a while i've been to the southwest i've been to california as a kid the only like cardinal direction of the u.s i haven't been to is like the northwest i've not been to like Oregon or Washington or anything like that. I would like to go there at some point. Oh, hello. Uh. Is this it? Um, I guess. Okay. Beat you up. And that should be it. Oh, that moved that. Okay. And then I can just go up this way. Wait, 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 wait. You can't fool me. There's a thing up here. Oh, it's just a fairy room. I think every dungeon has one of those. Which isn't that bad. They're nice. Oh, there's those treasure chests in... There's two treasure chests on this floor that I want. Uh... No? No? Okay, then. Fine. I guess I do that, and then go this way. And then, I pull this. Okay, lower you down one level. And then that should open that one up. Perfect. And now, did not mean to do that. Again, just a, just a habit for me to use the, um, the tornado rod. I don't know, the Y button, it, it just feels natural to use. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how it be for me. Okay. Oh, also, it's just really cool that, like, when we merge into the wall, it shows that we just still have, like, the blue mail on. Uh, it's it just nice I like the game remembers that, like, no matter what. Anyways, over here. So now... Oh, this is how you get that treasure chest normally. Uh, oops. I kind of cheesed it, but you know what? It's fine. Because, uh... Yeah. None of my concern, really. Now I wonder, what's over here? It's worth grabbing. Ah, that lowers it. Oh, no it doesn't. But this will. I want the last two treasure chests I don't have in this dungeon. Even though there, it's not really anything I need now. Because it's just going to be like... Monster parts some shenanigan like that. Stop hurting me. Okay, up here, or down here. Uh. How? How you do? No, seriously, how you do? Uh... Hmm, maybe if I kill all the enemies here, I'll figure out the solution. I don't think that's gonna be how it works, but it doesn't hurt to try. Or maybe I need to lower the water level in this room. That's probably it. But, you know what? I'm gonna... That didn't do anything. Okay. Gotta lower the water level in this room. Or in, on this floor. More like it. So I just have to go around here, I think? And I have, I have to get up here. So... Go up a floor. 
then drop down. Do I understand the basic concepts here? I think I do. Uh, you. Okay, lower you once. Then lower you twice. Is this how it do? Did I figure out the solution? Uh... Let me... No. What? Hold up. Can I just open them, like... No? I saw a prompt to open it. How did I... How did that work? Let me try that again. Let me go over here. Okay, so... I'm back here. I fell on top. There was a prompt to open this. Yeah, right there. Right there. Right? No, I... Okay. How do you do? Do I need to lower the water level again or bring it to the middle? There we go. I, I opened this one up. It's only monster guts, like I said. I just had to finagle my way through, but that doesn't explain how I would open up this one. Unless... Hold up. Can I somehow cheese this? I don't think I can. Never mind. I don't think I can. I was gonna, like, try to merge into the wall. But it doesn't seem like it'll work. So how do I... How? I had to look this up. You stand on this thing. And you just pull yourself through with the hookshot. I... Feel... Dumb. But, you know, I got the treasure chest. That's all that matters. I, I knew all along. Right? I, I, I'm just playing dumb. I, I, I knew the whole time that that's how you solve this puzzle. Because I, I'm obviously the smartest puzzle master out there. But uh, anyways, it's boss time. So let's open this up. And it's time to face Argus. Argus is going to be protected by these eye things. Use the hookshot to pull them off one at a time. And use your sword to hit them. So once that is done, you'll be able to make Argus vulnerable. Uh, please don't hurt me. And don't forget, you can also just grapple diagonally as well. I, I sometimes forget that, but that does help. If you're at a weird angle. But, uh... Yep, only one more of these mini eyeballs left to fight. And... There we go! Phase 2. Argus is just gonna start, uh... Hopping around trying to squish you. Luckily, we have protection with our blue mail. Whoa! Lasers! That didn't work. I'm just gonna hit you. Stop hitting me with your lasers, please. And you're vulnerable now, which at the very least makes things easier on my part. Stop hitting me with your lasers! I wonder... Yeah, that does protect me. Uh... Stop it! There we go! Easy! I wasn't panicking one bit. Nope, not one bit. That's another boss down. And another heart container for us. So let's grab this. We have 16 hearts now. And it's time to free another sage. Hello there. Remember her? This is the Queen of the Zoras, or Princess? I don't remember.
Once more, you have come to my rescue, Link. How I wish I could again reward you with a gift, something that would calm the troubled waters of your journey. I can offer you only my deepest gratitude, and yet another task, I'm afraid. You must rescue every one of the seven sages. Only together can we help you defeat this great evil. Well, that's four sages done, and rescued. Not done makes it sound like we like killed them or something, but only three left. So, that's another dungeon complete. And next time... Oh, oh yeah, hello, Princess Zelda. Oh, lovely Zelda. Can you begin to comprehend how lucky you are? Such legends, such heroes. We had legends. We had heroes. Laurel had hope. But all that is gone. Laurel has only me now. And your hero, of course. And if the hero of Hyrule fails me, oh, but I must have courage. He will succeed, or all is lost. You can, uh, really feel Hilda's desperation there at trying to save her kingdom. I feel really bad for her. Anyways, now that we have another dungeon completed, now is a perfect time to end things off. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, uh, we're not gonna quite go to another dungeon. We're gonna do, uh, something else. So, with that, I'm gonna end it off here. And see y'all next time for some more of Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Later!